Hello everybody, this is Ogini Supreme, and I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Turing. Now, Turing is a coding software. It's a programming software you can download on the internet. If you are going to download it, make sure you download version 4.1.1, because 4.1.2 is, is a glitchy version. So... Uh, I have 4.1.1 and I'm going to show you the basics. So if you want to type something, like if you want to tell the user of the program, hey, how's it going? You'll put, you'll say, put, P-U-T, then space, quotation mark, hey, how are you doing? Now if I press run over here, it'll run the program. Let's see. Hey, how are you doing? It worked. Okay. So now let me know that works. We're good. We can also do stuff like this. 4 plus 3. If I press 1, 4 plus 3. What if I wanted to also give the solution? Obviously, we know the solution is 7. But what if I want, what if I didn't know? 4 plus 3 equals 7. All you do is just put 4 plus 3 without the quotation marks and 4 plus 3, 7. Also, if you want to put the equals sign at the beginning, you'll do this. You'll put quotation equals, then put a space, and then quotation, then a comma, and we'll say equals 7. Because now you're saying, right here in this quotation marks, you have the equal sign, and then a space, and then outside of that you have 4 plus 3. If I did this, it would still work. Also, later we're going to get into, like, if scripts and stuff like that, which require indenting, and if you press indent right here, indent support. Okay, now... If you have Turing at home, which you might, might not, but if you do, then I want you to practice this and type something like, hey, or type an equation. Now, let, I'm going to show you guys the, the uh, operation symbols. So, if I do, you obviously know the plus sign is, is uh, addition, 7, right? And the subtraction sign is subtraction. If you press shift 8, which would be the asterisk mark, which looks like that, that would be multiplication. And to do division, you put a forward slash like this. Backward slash like that. No, not backward, forward. But let's uh, say you want to do 4 to the 3. You go two asterisks and 64. If you don't believe me that that uh, that equals 64 look so that's 16 four times 4 is 16 then times 4 64. All right now that we got those out of the way let's uh, oh yeah one more thing. If you want to do the square root of a number, let's say 9, you do that. SQRT, and then bracket 9, and 3. You get it. But now, now we're going to set a variable. Let's say, var number. So we set a number, and then after that we put a colon, not a semicolon, which looks like that. You want a colon. You put int for integer. Now this means that the number is going to be a whole number. It can be 0, negative, 5, positive, 87, I don't care. And then you put enter a number. Let's say you want to say, hey, enter a number. To get that number, you're going to put get and then the name of your variable. You're going to put get number. And let's say you want to put number, and then you put put number and then It'll type back the number you print. Let's see. Enter a number. Okay, seven. Oh, seven. Now let's try negative. Whoa, that's a big.
big number. Whoa, what just happened? Whoa, I, I typed 5.3. Why didn't why didn't it uh say 5.3? That's because it's an integer. Integers are not for decimal purposes. So if you want a uh, decimal, you put real. Nah, you can still go three, whatever. And you know 3.3. .3, there you go. And it can still still be negatives like that, negative 3.3, .3, whatever. Now, you're probably wondering, why not just make all numbers real? Well, because real numbers store more memory. Now, if you want to make it like a, like a word, then I'll just go word, colon, and I'll put string, and that is a string. I'm going to change it to word. Enter a word, okay, get word, and print word. So now it's a word, and string means any text or any thing. So I can still type a number like that, but I can't do any calculations with it. Because, look, if I want to do uh, word times two, there was an error. If you look at the bottom over here, operands of asterisks must be both integer real or compatible sets because it's a string you need a number you need integer real so word hi hi that's that was very nice it said hi back now now you know stuff like that now let's say we want to say uh, enter another word or for get word Put word. Now, we put hello. Oh, it says hello. Bye. Oh, it says bye. That, that's nice. Then, what if I go, what if I go, uh, hello, sir? What the? It didn't let me enter another word? Are you kidding me? Well, that's because you have to put this. Yeah. Hello, sir. In case they type two words, it'll like that. It tells the computer, "Hey, after a space, I'm still typing, man. You know, come on." So it won't automatically go to the next one after a space. So you know, G H whatever. Now, what if I wanted to put the other word? All right. I don't know T and then Y. Put Y twice. Why didn't I put the other word? That's because it's one variable. Now later on, I'm going to show you how one variable can equal more than one thing. But as of now, you can't. You can't do that. I'll show you that later, though. Sticking to one of my newer videos. So now I set two variables. Variable word, word two, string now, hi, bye, it said hi back. So that's, that's that, that's setting variables. Now, if I wanted to set an, an integer, I'd have to do another line, like number, because you need another line if you're setting a variable that's a different type. So. I go put, enter number, now I'm going to show you something cool, if I go like that, if I put these two period marks there, must be two, and I put get number, look at that, the cursor is right next to the text, without it, it's right under, so if you want to do that, you can put that there, oops, oh. You can put that there. So, 
enter number, get number, then put enter word, oops, get word, and I'll put this in case the person gets funny, and I'll put word number. Number is not a procedure and hence cannot be called. Procedures are different. So, look at that. 5T. We'll put T5 because we'll put word first. And then number. But without this, uh, procedure. What's a procedure? I'll, I'll get into that in another video. So, that is the basics of Turing, really. If you want more. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will give you more videos. Goodbye. This is Hogan E. Supreme. Okay.